mango matcha. So, so good. Fresh mango blended with a little bit of maple syrup. That is my syrup. So delicious, guys. You guys need to try this if you haven't. 10 out of 10 drink. I got a lot of packages this weekend. I'm super excited with a couple of these brands because they are brands that I already use on the daily. And so it's always fun when brands reach out to me that I already love. So let's get into the PR unboxing. So some of these packages I had already unboxed just because I wanted to get rid of some boxes. So I unboxed them throughout the weekend. But this first PR package is from Flamingo. I absolutely love, love Flamingo. If you guys have seen my previous videos, you know that I love their deep moisturizing lotion, even though I haven't been able to find it for a very long time. I'm not sure if they're just out of production, sold out, I don't know, but I need it back in stock at Target like ASAP. But this package was so good, guys, because some of these things I really need. It gave me wax strips, so it comes with the wax already on the strips. You can pretty much use it anywhere on your body. Pretty cool. I used to have a wax pot, but when I was moving, I literally spilled it everywhere, so I no longer have a wax pot. So I grew up waxing them since the time I started growing out hair. My mom always waxed my armpits, we'd wax my legs. Literally, I'd be laying on that bathroom floor and we'd be waxing my body, so. And sometimes my friends would come over and I would wax their eyebrows or like their hair on their face and stuff like that. So yeah, these are gonna come in handy for sure. Then they also sent me, I believe this is a razor. Yes, their razors are my favorite. I have so many of the heads and I switch them out like every two weeks. And it leaves my skin like super smooth, really soft. Obviously the longer you use a razor, the less soft your skin is gonna feel. So you always need to be changing your razor heads and their razor heads are the best. Um, they also sent me some tweezers, which I don't really tweeze my eyebrows at all. So this will come in handy though for like waxing actually, but I do not touch my eyebrows at all, so I hardly use tweezers, but definitely will come in handy for waxing. They also sent me some body hair removal cream. And then this is also one of my favorite things about Flamingo. All their razors come with a little adhesive piece to stick in your shower or bathtub, and you can just clip the um, razor on. It works great. Um, and I have a couple razors for like different things, obviously, because you don't want to be mixing your razors in like different areas of your body. So this definitely comes in handy to keep them in like different areas of the shower. The next package is from Kate McLeod, I believe you pronounce it. Um, and I'm also really excited about this one. I've never used their products before, but they are like a body moisturizer like bar, which I always love that concept. Um, when brands can make a product really small that lasts for a very long time. This is what it looks like. I got the scent Dawn Stone, which is coconut balsam of Peru and tonka bean, which I'm really, really excited to use. I better not open this because I don't want to damage the packaging for some other filming I need to do. But they sent me this adorable wooden container to put it in. And okay, this is another brand that I absolutely love. I love everything Jury creates. Everything is so stunning. I've been wearing their jewelry for like four years now and I love everything so, so much. So I'm always really excited. Once again, when brands reach out that I already use and adore. I actually forgot what it was that I picked out for this partnership. So I'll be just as shocked as you guys when I see it. So they always come in these really cute, clean boxes. Oh, it was like this color campaign. It's a cute little ring. It looks a little aqua. It's cute though for summer. I really love it. I'm actually really excited about this package. I was so, so excited when they reached out to me to send me this really fun package. It's so stinking cute, guys. It's a little like hiking pack. I love it. Let's see how this works. They also put some goodies in these little pouches. Kenfield SPF repellent, or no, Golden Hour Deep Free Repellent. So I believe this is like bug spray, I think. And they also added some moisturizer with SPF. They put some electrolytes in here, which we love. Wow, Calpac really outdid themselves with this. It's so stinking cute. And they also put a very cute water bottle in here, which 
just perfect for summer. Ooh, so many cute stickers. Very, very cute. I'm super excited about this partnership. I can't wait to wear my cow pack bag out on our next little hike with the fam. Okay, this package looks absolutely adorable. It's from Darling Clothing. They sent over a very, very cute dress that I picked out online. It has the cutest ruffles on the bottom and it's a simple white dress, but white dresses are always my favorite for summer, so I'm super excited to wear this dress. Okay, the last package I have to open and share with you guys is from Pedro. I've never worked with Pedro before. I got to pick out a bag and some shoes, it was like a set. And I am excited because it's a pink color and I don't really wear like bright pink a lot, but I always like to do like a little accent here and there. So let me show you guys what I picked out. So this little bag I thought just was so stinking cute. We leave for Mexico soon. So I thought this would be perfect for Mexico. And just like, even with the white dress I just got, like I can already see this looking adorable with it together. So I'm super excited for that. And then the shoes guys, I don't know about them. I think I was a little ballsy with these, not gonna lie. That is a monster of a shoe. Actually, it would look cute with the white dress I just showed you guys as well and the bag. Maybe that will be a look for this, these pieces. But yeah, they are very cute, very stylish for summer. Definitely something different, not something I'm very used to wearing, especially like a really bright pink shoe. But anyways, guys, I am gonna head to the post office because I have a bunch of things to drop off. Pop's birthday is coming up and I need to go drop off his gift and I also have to mail out a couple things. So I'm gonna go collect all those things and then head to the post office. I'm not changing, I'm not showering because I need to shoot some content for some brands getting ready. So I don't really wanna do that right now. I really need to send these things out ASAP. Okay guys, I look like an absolute mess, but I'm ready to go to the post office. I'm gonna come back and shower and shoot a video for a brand. <laughs> posted on Instagram I post every morning that's like part of my like job routine um and it wasn't for collab or anything it was just a cute little picture even though it had some collab pieces in it like my citizens of humanity jean jacket is my favorite but I've literally been posting that all the time but anyways I was just doing some of that and then I also did some admin work um went through all my emails so I'm done going through my emails before the morning but I usually get a lot dirt throughout the day um, but anyways, last night was like uneventful. I literally watched Vanderpump Rules on the couch for like three hours while Jordan was at a basketball game. Um, and then I hopped into bed at nine and I read on my Kindle. So yeah, it was pretty uneventful. Today, for some reason, I don't have a ton of work. Yesterday I did a lot, but today I'm gonna be doing a olive oil cake video for a brand. And then I'm also shooting Kate McLeod it's their moisturizing bar that I unboxed yesterday. I'm gonna be shooting a video for them as well. Those are like the only two big things I have to do today. I don't have any packages to take to the mail today. Um, so I'm gonna to have to do a whole foods run because I'm out of eggs and this cake recipe that they want me to make includes eggs. So I'm gonna be shooting that. But right now I'm gonna make myself some matcha because I've been on my matcha grind. <music>
All right, y'all. I'm on my way to meet Jordan for lunch. He had a little bit of time off, so I'm headed downtown and we're gonna meet up for lunch. I think we're grabbing pizza. So I'm really excited for that. But I also have some errands to run. Layla is almost out of her food, so I need to go pick some up. Um, my flower vase from West Elm broke last night. I opened my cabinet and a bunch of condiments fell and just like shattered my flower vase. I literally have one flower vase that I love. Um, and a flower vase is a must in my household because I'm constantly buying flowers or getting flowers from Jordan. I just love flowers in the apartment. So I am going to go to Woodland Mod and pick up a vase. This is like a good excuse to find a really cute vase. And they for sure have some there because I saw them the other day when I was there. So now I have an excuse to actually buy something. But I also need to pick up a couple things because I'm baking the olive oil cake. So I need to buy some eggs and a couple things for that. But I also just need a couple things for the apartment in our kitchen. I wanted to make a couple like date recipes. I really love sweets, but obviously going out and getting like snacks and stuff like it's just not sustainable literally is like unhealthy so i looked up some healthy recipes and i'm going to be making some date like snacks with peanut butter in it and then like peanut butter crisps in it coconut flakes and then coated in chocolate so i think those will be super yummy i also saw a, a vegan snicker bar recipe that looks so stinking good guys like you make every layer and it looked phenomenal so i'm gonna get the like ingredients for that recipe and i'm just super excited to make it i also need to clean because the apartment is just it's not like awful but it needs like a deep clean it does need a deep clean and um i'm out of dishwasher pods too so i have to pick some of those up do the dishes laundry is done thank goodness but i do need to clean some in the apartment lunch with Jordan and it was so delicious guys we went to elemental pizza and I tried it for the first time like a month and a half ago with my brother and Jordan and we all loved it so much and Jordan actually has one in the area since he works downtown so I met him up there and we shared a pizza and it was honestly so delicious we ate on the rooftop which is just so so cute um it's like in the middle of the cities here in the middle of all the buildings really really pretty uh, but now I'm headed to Woodland Mod. I decided I'm going to get some coffee at Root Plants because I haven't gotten a coffee in a long time and I haven't been here in a while and I'm in the area so I might as well.
before I left to pick Jordan off for work, I made some little date snacks. These are the ones I was telling you guys about earlier. They're the chocolate covered dates with peanuts in them and I'm gonna taste test them. I put a little bit of sea salt on top. <laughs> you didn't get the memo that I'm filming? Well, I was trying to eat too, so. Anyways, I'm gonna take a bite of this. Ah! We've had these dates for a while, so they were a little harder. This is a little hard to bite into, but I want to try it with softer dates next time. Do but it's like, really, really good. It tastes like a Snicker bar. It's a healthy one? version. Sure. <laughs> she can't have chocolate. It is now Thursday morning and I just finished shooting the Kate McLeod video. I did not get to it yesterday, so I finished it today and I am actually so obsessed with this body moisturizing stone, guys. It literally melts. Like, I have put nothing on my face besides this stone. It literally melts on your face while you're putting it on. Like, it's amazing. Amazing. So good. And it feels amazing. The best part of it is that it's like a sustainable, refillable, and plastic-free um, like their packaging is and as well like you know all the ingredients that are going in each body soon and I am simply obsessed um, I will be buying Kate McLeod after this runs out so I'm super excited um, to continue using this so you guys need to try this out if you're into like sustainable purchasing or just trying out um, products without alcohols and chemicals which I love whenever I can find a good brand and it also smells amazing guys that's the thing sometimes brands that are sustainable and don't have any chemicals to like give fragrance they don't smell good they smell like very earthy or sometimes just bad um this one actually smells amazing it's the dawn stone and i'm i'm actually obsessed like i'm gonna have jordan try it out as well because he has really sensitive skin so the less chemicals on his face the better so i'm obsessed all right y'all jordan and i are headed to bellevue we're gonna hit up the zara sale because apparently that has started and i've actually never been to the sale before but i've heard really good things about it we leave from mexico soon so i really wanted to check out their sales just because i bought jordan tons of shirts for spain last year that were just really really cute and they have a really good summer selection for guys there so i want to see how much on discount they are and if it's worth it obviously and yeah i want to check out maybe the la Ossetane if they have a la Ossetane store in bellevue because i ran out of my lotion um even though i looked online and i did not realize that the lotion they sent me was 46 dollars in a plastic pouch like a refillable pouch which is just insane but it worked really well on my skin so who knows if i'll be buying that or not but anyways we're gonna pick up starbucks first and then head over to bellevue square Okay, we both got um, Americanos with a splash of oat milk in it. Did we do full calf? We did full calf. Did full calf. I forgot to mention half. Sorry, Beth. No, that's fine. Let's do a little taste test. This is always so good. Like, it has no sweetener or anything in it, but I've really just been loving an Americano. And for some reason, there's some coffees at some coffee shops. When they do an Americano, it tastes really bad. Like, where do we have an Americano? I got an Americano where? Like, I usually love their coffee. Where was it? I don't know. Man. Oh, mainstay provisions. Mm -hmm. Usually, their, like, lattes are really, really good. But I got an Americano, and for some reason, the coffee bean just was not hitting the spot. And then for food... I got a bagel for lunch and Jordan got their mozzarella sandwich. Caprese almost. It's like a caprese sandwich. Yeah. Anyways, to Zara we go.
Okay, y'all, we're back home and I have a Zara haul for you guys. And I bought a new ceramics mug from a really cute grocery store in Seattle. But let me show you what I got. Jordan got two shirts and then I got a dress and a top for Mexico. I know I said I wasn't gonna buy anything for Mexico, but these are literally the only two things I'm buying as far as clothes go. I just wanted to have like a new dress to wear in Mexico. But let me show you guys what we got. So, first of all, we got Jordan this adorable shirt. It's like perfect for the beach. Such a cute shirt for the beach. Some cute little shorts. Then the second shirt is my favorite. I love the pattern. And I think Jordan tried it on and it looks so stinking cute. But this will be so cute to also like lay by the pool and stuff in Mexico. Such a cute print. Yes, Jordan, would you like to walk by? <laughs> okay, then on to what I got for myself. I still need to try these things on. If they don't work, then I'll return them tomorrow and I won't be getting anything else. But this is a cute little top. I have some new shorts that Princess Polly sent me. They're these white shorts. I thought they would look. this would look really cute with that. Um, it's like a little tube top. I like this design over here. And then the buttons I thought were so cute. So I'm excited to try them on. And then I got a dress. I love green and green is literally my favorite color. And it looks like this. I thought the bottom was so stinking cute. Um, and it's like so thin. I feel like it could also be used as like a beach cover up for like a swimsuit. So yeah, I'm gonna try these on today and see if I need to return anything. But then we went to the Naked Grocer in um, in Capitol Hill and um, they have the cutest produce there, the cutest produce shop. I actually met the owner, she's super sweet. Um, but they had just gotten a delivery of ceramics. Guys, look at how pretty this cup is. I had to get it. It was such a good price too. And it's from a Seattle like local who makes these pottery, like these ceramics pieces. They also have some bowls and I really want a new matcha bowl, but they were a little too big. So I'm gonna keep an eye out and see if she makes any like smaller ones. But anyways, I love. Alrighty guys, Jordan and I are headed off to date night. But first I wanted to share with you guys my outfit. It's from Pedro, which is such a cute brand. This purse, which is adorable, and these shoes are from Pedro, and I absolutely adore them. And they worked perfectly with my new white dress, so I'm super excited to wear this out tonight. Yeah. Anyways, guys, I am ending the vlog here, so I hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog. I'll catch you guys at the next one. Thank mm -hmm. you.